Oh yeah, it's me making another video on flea powers for cats and dogs. The thing that most people don't know, realize is when they buy a flea and tech repel and mosquito repel for their animal, their animals are actually being harmed by the stuff because you're basically using poison to kill off the fleas, ticks, and mosquitoes when they bite. There's an easier way around this and a more natural way. If you use peppermint oil that you dissolve in water, that you dilute in water, the key to do this is you, you take water. You want the water to be kind of warm, actually. That way the oil dissolves faster. And you, you know what, you just keep adding the oil and all that, shaking it up a little bit each time, and you smell the water. Okay, you know the water's ready when you can smell the peppermint oil in it. It should be a nice pepperminty smell to it. But basically what you do is, you just keep adding the mix until you get the desired smell. You don't want to make it too strong because the peppermint oil will actually bone the skin. Peppermint oil has a tendency to bone a little bit. But you want this, you want it to be strong enough to actually leave a smell, but not strong enough to actually bone the skin. Because you don't want to harm your animal. You actually try to make it better for the animal, for the cat or dog. Then when you get the mix of smell of this white, spray some on your skin. Preferably where you got irritation on your skin. Okay, the reason I say spray what you got an irritation on your skin is it shouldn't, it shouldn't bone the irritation and all that. If the mixture is too strong, if you spray on irritated skin, it's going to bone a little bit. Okay, now if it bones a little bit, you got the mixture too strong. Add some more water to it to dilute it a little bit and then start over. But when you get this white, the oil should be strong enough to repel the flea ticks and possibly even mosquitoes. I don't know too much about mosquitoes if they bite, if they smell the peppermint or not. But I mean, it's a good possibility it might be a good mosquito repel too. But basically, when you get down there, it doesn't have any bad side effects. You spray the animals cold with it. You spray it on the dog or a cat. And you get the full wrap with it and you rub it in to the hair and skin. Well, voila, you got something that's going to repel the fleas and ticks on that dog and cat. They won't want anything to do with it. And as I, if you get, if the mix was this white, you can actually see the fleas trying to jump off of the cat or dog. That's when you know it's working. Take it one step further, obviously, you don't want the mosquito, not the mosquito, but the fleas or ticks hiding in your carpet. Spray your copy with this mixer too. Spray the entire house around with it, including the crevices along the walls and up along the wall with the mixer. It has a beneficial effect too, of making the house smell good, giving it a nice pepperminty smell. So, I mean, this is one way to kill off fleas and ticks without using harmful chemicals that could actually hold your, your pets. And plus it's beneficial too by leaving a nice aroma and it gets rid of all the other odors. Peppermint has a real strong odor to it. It smells nice and all that. But anyway, before you buy more free drops or free, free calls for free and ticks and mosquitoes, look at, look at the label on the free and tick calls and drops. I'm pretty sure that if you look at the label, you're going to see that there's all kind of poison on the... You really don't want to use poison on your dog or cat because, I mean, if it has a side effect and it kill off your animal, you're going to feel miserable over and all that. Well, the peppermint will work just as good. So, leave me comments on this on what you think about the peppermint oil. And, uh, there's other oils that works the same. But uh, I'm just basically researched the peppermint oil a little bit for now, and it does work. There are strong references to peppermint oil being able to repel fleas and ticks, and they think it may repel mosquitoes too. So leave me some comments below, and when I get more time, I'll, I'll put a blog up on this with some recipes on how to make this stuff, and maybe some other stuff that I like, maybe actually remove parasites too. Uh, I, I, really, 
I'll leave the video for now with this uh, peppermint remedy and all that. So, thanks for viewing my video. Take care. Bye.